Hey guys, uh, welcome to lesson three of BlueJay. So in the previous video, if you recall, uh, we talked about how to sort of introduce string variables um, and how to print out, you know, whatever the string variable set. Um, in this video, we're going to actually introduce another type of variable, um, and it's going to be more specifically a number, like the number, you know, a number, any number. Uh, and it's called the integer variable. And I guess the objective of this video, uh, let's just have, you know, let's just spout out a number. Okay, let's just say three or four. You know, how, how do we say a number? Um, you know, if you were to, if you were to do a string A, uh, and then is equal to three, this would definitely work. Okay. Um, this, you know, string A, and then it would definitely say three, the number three, uh, when it's printed out. However, with the, in this way, you will not be able to do mathematical functions. So if you do a plus three, um, the computer won't recognize that a is a number. So it will not be able to do three plus three because a right now represents a piece of text. It's a sentence. It's a it's a it's not a number a mathematical number it's a piece of text okay and because that's what string represents that's what string is now in order to do this so let's just say you know we want it to first you know represent three uh, let's start by introducing the integer variable so in order to do this we have int and then the next line is whatever you know the, the name it is it could be anything again let's just say money for now Okay. Now, what number do we want it to display? Let's just go for eight. Okay. We have a semicolon, and now we're gonna print line something. Uh, so we could do eight. We could just put in the number eight, and that would definitely, you know. So if I compile this, uh, th th then it would not need this uh, integer variable. So if I go to lesson one, oh, I, it's the lesson one. I'll just change that. So if I compiled it, it's less, it's eight. It would still be eight. We wanted eight, right? But, um, how do we have this integer to kind of, you know, what's the point of this integer? Well, let's say we, this integer variable, you know, we wanted to change it along the way. That's why we would use the actual money integer and not eight. It sounds a bit confusing, but hold on for a second, okay? So instead of eight, I'll put money. It's still going to show up as eight. Okay, let's just prove that real quick. See, it still represents eight. It could be anything. Maybe that could have been fluke. Even if I put, you know, a three on, uh, that would have worked. Let me just change this to lesson three. Okay. Um, but now, so so in the next video, I think you'll definitely realize why putting the variable integer, uh, you know, called money into this system dot on print line instead of just the the number eight okay uh, and you know that was pretty straightforward let's try and make it a bit more cooler uh, it's not that cool let's do some addition or subtraction to it um you know how do we get uh you know how do we you know we have eight dollars how do we now you know we want to add maybe three dollars how do we do that do i just do eight plus three here or do another variable well, I mean, and you could, but it is quite straightforward to do that as well. In the system auto print line, with money, you can just do plus three. And so, in this case, the program would go down and down. It would come to this line, and it would say that, oh, there is money, which is an integer variable. Uh, this money is represents eight. So it's going to be eight plus three. It's not going to be actually saying eight plus three. It's going to have the addition. Of eight plus three, which is going to be eleven. Um, in the previous one, remember, as I said, you know, if we had this as string, the computer would not be able to do eight plus three because eight would not be a number in the computer's eyes. It would be, you know, a, a piece of text. You can't have a piece of text adding to a number, but integer is a number, so that's why we have the variable integer. So let's just compile that real quick uh, to end off the lesson. We're going to, remember, we're going to have 11 in there. So if we do that, so there it is, 11. Okay. 
And once again, if I were to uh, uh, comment, I would just say the above line spits out or, you know, whatever uh, eleven. Okay. Okay. So in the next video, so I, I hope you guys can see how you know we're gonna start doing more and more cooler stuff uh, with, with programming and, and how we can do uh, some more advanced level stuff. Um, for now, it's a bit, it's still a bit basic, but let's just do it step by step. So, uh, join me in the next lesson. Thank you.